In this video, we're going to take a look at the youngest college graduates in history. For example, Ruth Lawrence, who completed her bachelor's in mathematics at age 13. Stephen Backus, who graduated from law school at age 17. Aliyah Sabor, who completed her PhD in engineering at age 18. And William Thompson, who, after entering college at age 10, by age 22, was the chair of the Natural Philosophy Department. I would probably be in the eighth grade in um, high school, but I'm currently um, doing master's level courses at Harvard University. Firstly, we have the youngest PhDs at number nine, Stephen Wolfram, who at age 20 completed his PhD in particle physics at Caltech under Richard Feynman. Number six, we have Edith Stern, the famous force prodigy who at age 18 completed her PhD in mathematics. At number five, we have Norbert Wiener, a natural prodigy who completed his PhD at age 18 at Harvard and later went on famously to found cybernetics. At number four, we have Shoyeno, a newcomer who recently completed his PhD in genetics at age 18. At the age of 18, Mr. Yano earned a doctor of medicine at University of Chicago. Let's meet this young genius doctor, Shoyano, on Heart to Heart today. Please tell us which two doctoral degrees you got from University of Chicago. Well, I was in the MD-PhD program. Mm -hmm. So I have an MD and mm -hmm. a PhD in molecular genetics and cell biology. Mm -hmm. What were your thesis that you had to uh, write on? Well, my PhD thesis was about uh, some proteins uh, mm -hmm. made by a virus that infects bacteria. Okay. At number one, we have the Korean prodigy Kim on yong who at age 15 completed his PhD in physics then went to work for NASA, and after burning out, returned to Korea to complete a second PhD in a relatively easier field, civil engineering. Next, we have the youngest MD category. At number two, we have Avi Ben Abraham, who in 1976 was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the youngest to receive a Doctor of Medicine degree, which he completed in the age of 18 years and three months at the University of Perugia, Italy. This, however, turned out to be a hoax. Whatever the case, shortly thereafter, a young Bali Morali Ambati, who had recently completed his bachelor's degree in biology at the age of 13, decided he would break this record, and by the age of 17 years and 294 days, completed his MD at Mount Sinai School of Medicine with a focus in ophthalmology. I grew up in America, and one of the popular TV shows in my childhood was uh, Doogie Howser. I don't know if how many of you remember that, but uh, I never got to see it because I was actually living it. At the age of 12, I was in college studying uh, pre-medicine, organic chemistry, molecular biology, and I managed to get into medical school at the age of 14. Next, we have the youngest lawyer category. At the age of 17, John McLean was admitted to the Arkansas Bar Association after having previously studied law in his father's office. In 1985, Stephen Backus, at the age of 16, completed his law degree and made a name for himself by successfully suing the state of New York for its age restrictions on bar exams, and by age 19, made partner in a firm. I'll tell you a little bit about um, the, the recently develop, developing field of uh, ultrasound stimulation. It's been known for quite some time that you can change activity in the retina uh, using ultrasound. This is actually known since 1929. Now we're going to quickly walk through the top 35 college graduates with a bachelor's degree or higher. At number 34, as mentioned, William Thompson, after entering Glasgow University at age 10, and at age 21, graduating from Cambridge as second wrangler, simultaneously initiating the science of thermodynamics with the discovery of the forgotten memoirs of Sadi Carnot's 1824 on the motive power of fire, after which by age 22, he was chair of natural philosophy at Glasgow University. At number 28 of interest, we have Dylan Jones, who at the age of 10 was an engineering freshman at Colorado School of Mines and by 17 had completed his bachelor's degree in bioengineering and life sciences and presently is in medical school 
He meant to be a board-certified neurosurgeon by the time he's 28. At number 27, we have the famous child prodigy William Sidus, who at the age of 16 completed his bachelor's degree in mathematics from Harvard. At number 19, as seen earlier in video, we have Eugenie de Silvia, who at age 14 completed her bachelor's in intelligence analysis and thereafter, in the following two years, completed two master's degrees in legal studies and intelligence analysis. Here's a shot of De Silva's Twitter page along with a pic of the 2015 tweet about the new car her father bought for her, describing herself as not your average nerd, 17 years old, one bachelor's degree, two master's degrees, currently a graduate student at Cambridge. At number 17 we have Merrill Kenneth Wolf, who in 1945 graduated from Yale with a degree in music and therein was listed for some two decades in the Guinness Book of World Records as the youngest person to graduate from a United States college. At number 12 we have Thomas Wolseley who in 1486 at the age of 14 was the youngest historically to complete a bachelor's degree in arts. He was cited by Catherine Cox with an IQ of 200 in 1926. At number 7 we have Ruth Lawrence who at age 13 famously completed her bachelor's degree in mathematics followed by a second bachelor's degree in physics at age 14. So our subject is invariants of uh, knots and uh, three manifolds uh, and I'd like to show you some of the beautiful connections, uh, structures that, that uh, appear there. The knot theory started uh, in the 1870s uh, most, most things in mathematics started with Gauss, a student of Gauss listing, uh, and P.J. Tate, and they started investigating tables of knots. Um, and uh, even in the early days, invariance played an important role. At number six, we have J. Liu, who in 1982 completed a bachelor's degree in mathematics at Boise State University, after which he started work at Stanford in graduate school but dropped out. At number three we have a Dragon de Mello who at age 11 set the record in 1987 by graduating from college with a degree in computational mathematics. At number two we have Tatagat Tulsi who at age 10 completed his bachelor's degree in physics followed by another master's degree in physics. At age 12 completed at Padna University followed by a PhD in physics at age 20 with a dissertation on generalizations of quantum search algorithms at Indian Institute of Science. Dr. Tathagat Tulsi, assistant professor at IIT Mumbai now joining us. The youngest IIT professor, Tathagat, if I get it right, in IIT's history. You did something like a BSc at the age of 10 and an MSc at the age of 12 or something equally alarming, right? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Tell us, what, what made you think you could, let me go all the way back. What made you think possibly that you could do a BSc at the age of 10 or 11? Well, uh, when I was a kid, I just wanted to do my uh, start my scientific research as early as possible. I was very much uh, interested about uh, to know about the uh, quantum theory, about Einstein's theory, about you know, the advanced theories of physics. So I thought that let's finish my MSc degree and let's start my PhD as early as possible. And I was very good in mathematics. My memory was also very uh, good. So that's why I used my uh, mathematics as well as memory to pass my degree exams at a very young age and to start my PhD at the age of uh, 15. So that was the main motivation to, you know, to do all these things at a very young age. Coming in at number one, we have American Michael Kearney, who at a young age had learned about a Dragon de Mello's age 11 record-breaking computational mathematics degree and decided he would beat this. Accordingly, by age eight, Kearney had completed his associate's degree in geology at Santa Rosa Junior College. Here's a pic of Kearney receiving his associate's degree in geology from Santa Rosa Junior College and by age 10 completed his bachelor's degree in anthropology at the University of South Alabama. By age 14 he completed his master's degree in biochemistry at Middle Tennessee State University and at 17 completed a master's degree in computer science from Vanderbilt University. Jess, you are playing with Michael Carney from Nashville, Tennessee. Michael Carney? 
surprise you to know that this fella has three world records in the Guinness Book of Records. What are they? I'm the uh, world's youngest college student, the world's youngest high school graduate, and the world's youngest college graduate. So I give got... us the ages. Oh, I graduated. I graduated from co I graduated from high school when I was six, and I graduated from college when I was ten. So, yeah.